and welcome to Thought for the Day. My name is Rebecca and I have been part of the St Thomas's Church community my whole life. I have just finished my second year studying medicine and I have also recently been appointed as president of our university society affiliated to the Student Christian Movement, a national organisation whose aims are to create community, deepen Christian faith, celebrate diversity and seek justice. Like for many students up and down the country, COVID-19 has led to the cancelling of my end of year exams and the disruption of a lot of our teaching, leaving us to do the remainder of our learning and revision on our own at home. I have found the total removal of any kind of structure really challenging and I find it difficult to motivate myself when I don't have solid deadlines. I am also really worried that I won't be prepared academically for my third year and also what the hospitals will be like when I begin my placements. As I know is the case for many others, lockdown has also impacted my well-being, and I have definitely found some days really difficult. One thing that has brought structure to my day are the online services and sessions run by various organisations. Tracy's services, of course, connect me to my home at Mella. Our group from uni meet online every week for discussion and compline. And also student Christian movement run online meetings each weekday evening where people from all around the country gather for sessions such as Bible studies and theology workshops. In addition, some of us meet online every morning to do the Church of England daily morning prayer. This creates rhythm to my day. Instead of waking up and immediately worrying about what new stresses the day will bring, by praying together, I feel that I'm doing something positive and productive and it reminds me that I am not alone in my worries. The concept of prayer is something I have struggled with in the past, but throughout this period, I have definitely come to understand its importance more. The Lutheran pastor and theologian Nadia Boltz Weber describes prayer as gossamer threads connecting us to God and God's children, and that these silken threads are a way of God stitching together humanity. This image is something that really resonates with me as I pray with people sitting alone in their homes all over the country and I picture those threads connecting us. It reminds me that although we may be physically isolated, we are never truly alone and that God is always with us in whatever form that may take. This online community is certainly how I've experienced this recently. A recent survey from Tear Fund found that 1 in 20 adults have started to pray during lockdown, despite not having prayed before. With more people praying, hopefully those silken threads connecting us can be tightened and humanity brought closer together. One of my favourite lines from a hymn is, The voice of prayer is never silent, from the day thou gavest, Lord, is ended. And when the thought of this pandemic becomes overwhelming, I remember this line. Who knows for sure how prayer works, but the knowledge that for every one moment in time, there are millions of people all over the planet praying for our suffering world is hugely comforting. My friends from our society at uni and the people I have met online during lockdown make me understand the importance of community and having like-minded people to share faith with. But this makes me realise how lucky I am to have the means to be able to be part of these communities and how hard this time must be for those who don't have access to the internet and are feeling disconnected from the world at the moment. I hope that we can do as much as possible to reach these people, perhaps with a phone call, and make them feel less alone. If I were to find one positive outcome from this lockdown period, it would be that it has made me realise what is important for me. In my normal day-to-day life at university, it is so easy for me to get caught up in the next assignment due or where I need to be next. And this lockdown has shown me how easily all of that can be stripped away and revealed the things I truly value, my family, friends and faith. I hope that when I am back at university, whenever that may be, I can continue to keep these things at the forefront of my mind.